Hi there, it's Mr. Clark. Welcome to lesson 3.4.4, the last type of non-chord tone for now. For this section, we'll be looking at the escape tone, or échappé. Um, like double neighbor or cambiato, these are just two terms for the same thing, escape tone or échappé. Um, I tend to say escape tone more often. It's the opposite of an appoggiatura. It's also an incomplete neighbor, but it's a step and then a leap. So... It begins on a chord tone, it steps to a non-chord tone, and then leaps in the opposite direction. And again, that could go the other way, where you step down to a non-chord tone, and then leap up to a chord tone as a resolution. When you're writing or identifying an escape tone, you must start on a chord tone, step to a non-chord tone, leap to a chord tone in the opposite direction. So, looking at our first example, here's our chord. That works. You start on a chord tone, you move to a non-chord tone by step, and then you leap to a chord tone in the opposite direction. Here's one in the reverse direction, where you step down to three and leap up to six. This is not an example of an escape tone, because those are all chord tones. Sorry. This is not an example of an escape tone. Stop that. Um, because it's moving in the same direction. It has to be step and then leap in the opposite direction. And then last but not least... These are two leaps. There are no steps involved, so it can't be an escape tone. Escape tone is abbreviated by E-T, like the extraterrestrial. Um, and yeah, that's what we have for now. And I will see you next time.